Hey, it's Harry from PB Tech, and today we have a special guest. We have Lara from Using Technology Better. Hello. Hi. Hi, Harry. Sweet, and you've brought in something awesome to show us today. I have. So we're going to look at some tools that take that STEAM learning a little bit further and talk about some invention literacy. So when we talk about literacy, we talk about the way we communicate and understand the world around us. And when we look at invention literacy, it's about creating and designing and becoming the inventors. And there's some really cool tools to help us do that. This amazing kit here is pretty new, and it's called a Neuron Kit. It's by make block. Let's start just by looking at the, the components. So we've got these components here, the green ones. These are your power and your communication tools. We've got blue are your output, orange are your input, and your yellow are your sensors. That's important because those words and understanding those words specifically is part of the new curriculum. So it's a really good way to start kids seeing and physically manipulating without a device at all how to use these things. So let's combine a couple of these to see what we can do. So I'm gonna connect this knob to this power button and it's magnetic. So it clicks in really, really easily, pretty user-friendly. So I'm gonna take this RGB LED and just connect it onto here. And if you wanna go ahead and push the power button, now it works in the sequence that the blocks are combined unless you've coded it differently. The knob here will control the intensity of the light. A different blue block, so this is your LED strip block. And you can see down the bottom that it's got a different connector so that we can connect it to this LED strip. It's like Christmas lights. Once you use the software to code this, you can have different lights flashing different colors. You can code it within the M block software that we talked about that you could also use with the Kodi Rocky. So it's the same thing in there. And this is like an extension. So when you go in, you click on a plus sign and it allows you to choose the neuron to connect. There's another flow programming application and that's a really different style of programming. It's like a flow chart. But the reason why this I think is such a neat kit to have is because of the ability to connect it to so many other things. It's the internet of things again, so joining with other devices you have around and making completely different things. So it comes with some pretty cool kit in here as well. So this is a little setup to show you how to make a fire truck and it comes with the beautiful card. You can also print these out. They're all online to print new ones if you want to. I love making kids cut things out for half an hour. Wow, look at us, perforated, it's <laughs> Yeah, fine. it's already done yeah. on this. Yeah, and like this little traffic light where you run the LED strip up and you only have three of the dots programmed to be green, yellow and orange and on a timer system. So it's a pretty simple code to make that happen. Get Cody Rocky driving through some yeah. stuff or a Spiro driving around and stopping for the street lights. Yeah. So I guess I've shown you some preset stuff, but the idea is that you can take this in any direction you want. The draft form of the Digital Technologies curriculum was released to schools at the start of this year, and it becomes embedded in practice from 2020. I mean, that's a big part of what we do, is work with schools to see what their needs are, and then build on that and start unpacking this for teachers. And we're running workshops all over the country, as well as with individual schools. Six on months that. left, quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. I think as soon as we start looking at some of these tools, it takes a bit of that fear and the unknown away for teachers as well. And they see how much their kids will love this and be engaged in their learning. Exciting. Yeah.